Hello, today I would like to talk to you about police use of force in light of recent encounters that resulted in officer-involved shootings. Spokane police officers responded to more than 107,000 calls in 2023. That equates to more than one call every five minutes. Some of these incidents lasted for mere minutes and others took several hours and multiple officers to bring to conclusion. The vast majority of these incidents occurred without anyone being arrested and without any officer needing to use force. In fact, officers were involved in a total of 85 reviewable use of force incidents and two deadly force incidents for the entirety of 2023. Again, those 87 uses of force are out of 107,000 incidents officers responded to last year. Fortunately, SPD's ratio of use of force incidents compared to citizen contacts is very low. For several years, it's been less than one in 1,000 incidents that have resulted in a use of force by officers. You may be surprised to learn that even when an arrest takes place, force is used in only about 1 to 2 percent of those situations. This remained true for arrests involving suspects of all racial demographics. Most incidents are in response to a 911 call, and the most common type of call is domestic violence. Subjects who resist arrest are more likely to have force used upon them and taser applications are the tactic most relied upon by officers when force is required. With increasing frequency, officers are facing violent suspects who either have the sole intention of harming officers or who have recently committed other violent acts and are willing to continue doing so in order to avoid apprehension. State law and Spokane police policy require that officers utilize all available and appropriate de-escalation tactics when appropriate. De-escalation efforts can take many forms, such as communication, the repositioning of officers, requesting additional resources, the use of specialty teams, and other measures that are intended to reduce the likelihood of using force. This is a requirement whenever possible and something that we take very seriously as an agency. One specialty team that is commonly utilized to de-escalate situations is our SWAT team. SWAT has been more active than ever in recent years and is often called upon as a resource to handle some of the most dangerous situations our officers face. The number of SWAT callouts is at a, rec a record high. The SWAT team is very effective and capable at de-escalating volatile situations in order to protect the suspects and the community. In 2023, there were 132 SWAT callouts compared to 108 in 2022. Of those, 123, or 93% of callouts ended without a use of force, despite the team successfully handling many dangerous incidents, including barricaded subjects, armed individuals, high-risk arrests, and high-risk search warrants, to name a few. The increased training, tools, and tactics used by this team allows them to safely de-escalate incidents, working alongside our SWAT team, hostage negotiators, and members of other uh, specialty teams um, they're frequently called upon to facilitate effective communication, to create distance between officers and suspects, and to bring threatening situations to a desirable outcome. The coordination of these specialty teams serves to slow incidents down using more officers, but is extremely effective and successful at delivering safe outcomes. In some instances, the suspect's actions don't provide time for officers to bring in additional resources. The pace of a situation is largely controlled by the decisions and actions made by the subject and the corresponding level of danger to the public and officers created by the subject's behavior. Officers must first stabilize a scene to, or address a dangerous situation before and in order to begin attempts to utilize de-escalation techniques. SBD officers have peacefully handled everything from the arrest of murder suspects to the resolution of hostage situations using nothing more than handcuffing. Ultimately, officers need the eventual cooperation of the suspect to be successful in these attempts. When officers are faced with an immediate and serious threat to a member of the public, a fellow officer, or themselves, they may need to resort to force because de-escalation is not possible. When that threat is life-threatening, an officer is left with no other alternative than to immediately use force to stop that threat. These incidents are of the highest concern to members of the community and to law enforcement. The safety of our community and each of our officers is my absolute highest priority. For that reason, we carefully review 
every use of force to ensure that officers have the training, equipment, and knowledge to de-escalate situations and effectively use force when necessary. SPD is proud to adhere to the highest standards of policing as reflected in the 99.9% .9 of total incidents that end without an officer's use of force.